Hello and welcome back to the cove with more EU4 Angular File Achievement from. So I have had a little bit of a think. Uh, we are needing to flip over a whole stack of people from the wrong religion in the Empire. That seems to be our biggest problem at the moment, uh, all these heretic princes. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, even though we currently have a little bit of a problem uh, for the fact that we have a coalition, not everyone is a part of that and not all of them are well, those who aren't a part of that aren't necessarily the right religion either. So, what I'm thinking we do is we set some truce timers, avoid them from being able to join a coalition, and flip them to the right religion. Now, we don't have the votes at the moment, but that's okay. We don't have an heir, which is why, uh, oh, hang on a second, uh, which is why they're not willing to vote for us. But I think we'll be doing fairly all right. So, with that in mind, I think what we're going to do is... Uh, Let's see, Serbia or Bosnia? I believe these guys are far away. Uh, Serbia won't come in and join them, so I guess we probably shouldn't attack them. Let's go for Serbia instead. That'll give us a, a way to uh, flip Goswire as well. That should be three in this if we are lucky. So let's just double check our war score provinces cost. Our total war score is 13%, so that'll be an easy flip. Serbia is will be 40%, so I'm not too concerned whatsoever. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and find some armies to bring it across. Uh, let's see, a 40 stack is probably decent enough. Let's go, um, let's go ahead and uh, cancel the rebel suppression there. That'll be fine. We'll use our fleet and we'll bring them across. That should all work fairly well for us. Uh, we do have revolts in Noble Rebels. Uh, okay. Oh, for Moravia. Okay, so they're not one of our Rebels. I didn't think that we did, but uh, yeah. And then there's some more for Iroquois over in the 13 colonies. But again, not my concern. So we're just going to sit back and relax. Uh, we could go for more tariffs, but I think that that is foolish. Let's just grab the power instead. We'll make far better use of that than anything else. Alright, so if we are to go to war with these guys, how many men do we need to fight? Uh, Serbia. We would be up against... Actually, we can co belligerentize Bosnia as well. Only uh, 20, 30,000 men. And that's if they've all congregated together. Uh, hang on a second. Let's... Yeah, I suppose that's going to be fun. We can call in everybody. Uh, may as well make most of our absurd amount of uh, favours that we have with everybody. Make sure that we get some uh, nice diplomatic relations for fighting on the same side in a war together. And let's declare an imperialism war and uh, use that to switch their religion. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and start the good old war. Alright, you my friend, let's go ahead and uh, get Bosnia out of this war nice and quickly. We don't have to worry about too much. They're not going to be very strong. This should only be a quick a quick war or two. All right, so what have we got here? Isaac Newton. Very nice. Okay, so 10 administrative power, 10 prestige, as well as 3 innovativeness. A little late in the game for the innovativeness for us. We've already maxed out, but hey, we'll uh, let it be. All right, and then what else do we have? Ooh. Nobles feud all the way over here. I don't really want to fight any uh, revolts. Give them autonomy or lose Diplo power? Hmm. Good question. We are. We did go ahead and uh, pick up diplomatic ideas, which could be rather nice if we do take land, but at the same time, too, we're not too uh, gun ho on the expansion at the moment. But the extra Diplo cost and the lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions could be nice. You know what? Let's just go ahead and grant them. Well, you know what? It's only going to slow us down by a month or two. Sure, we'll uh, try and settle the issue and make sure that that problem does not arise once more. All right, so just double checking. Is this the army with Julie? Yes, it is. Good grief. We do love her. She is a fantastic general. So glad that we got her. That is making our life so uh, very much easier, given that four siege pips that she has. Uh, so that will be very good. All right. Uh, let's see. Controversy over vestments. Hmm. 
Healy Prestige, Church of Power, or Denounce. Well, uh, let's see how we're doing in the Church of Power. 70, hmm. Although extra yearly prestige. Keep that topped out for the next, let's see, 10 years. You know what, that's only 10 prestige in the long run, and we're not going to need that. Let's just grab our Church Power. We can do something far better with all of that instead. Alright, Siege is over for Bosnia. In fact, could we even piece you out as it stands? Force Religion, 13%. We need a couple more reasons. Let's march on over to uh, Bosnia proper. And then we'll uh, take uh, whatever that other province is presided. Then I think we should probably be able to just go over to Serbia. All right, lose the stability or government reform progress. Well, that is easy. We're going to lose the government reform. But before we do, let's make sure that we spend all that we have. That will do nicely. And, oh, would you look at that? Just brings us right back down to a grand total of a nothing. All right, well, you know what? Better than losing a stability, we can manage with that. In fact, uh, we may even go ahead and take a an extra stability. We have a bunch of administrative power at the moment, so that's not a bad idea. Uh, we could piece these guys out straight away. What else could we do? We're not going to take land. That would be foolish. Uh, military access. Dalmatia as a rival. Timbuktu military access. You know what? I don't think I particularly care. No, maybe we grab some more reparations. And I think that will do. I don't even care about their money. We don't want to send them bankrupt. We need them to uh, be somewhat competent. If they are going to have the Ottomans living close by. Even if they don't have a direct border. So that'll be you sorted. Let's go ahead and uh, take out Serbia. Uh, we should have... Where is Goswa? They are... Ooh, they're already being sieged down fairly well by Augsburg. Yeah, we're not even going to have to waste much manpower in this war. This is fantastic. It looks like the Platinate has already tried to make their way over here. Yeah. Would you look at that? 35% as we stand on a fort. It is a level 1 though, so I suppose that does kind of make a bit of sense. And would you believe it? Already over and done with. Let's move down to the Highlands. Uh, we'll siege what we can, and then we'll peace on out yet again. Unfortunately, we're definitely going to be losing reform growth as we are at war because we need that peace for the whole, uh, those forward. Gain imperial authority for peace inside the empire, which uh, we need to maintain that zero. But again, as we keep flipping these people, it is well worth it in the meantime. All right, uh, looks like they're taking a couple of fights. Don't exactly want to uh, annihilate everything that they have, but... I guess it is what it is. Grab a couple of our uh, infantry, bring them off, make sure that we're gaining as much manpower as possible per month. Oh wow, and would you look at that? Absolutely swarming in right there. Now let's see, are we still making a lot of manpower? Yes, in fact, uh, it's doing quite nicely. Alright, so... Let's regroup all of you. They will be able to handle the rest and then where's Joshua? they are up over here okay well since we have military access the question is who would we want to fight next Croatia what about you you are hmm oh you do have a truce with us at the moment yeah we have that for another six years so I guess the only way we could fight them is if we found some kind of um work around through some of these other people but I think they're all in a bit of a uh, if at the moment uh, being in the uh, what do we call it coalition okay so we do have the 99% war goal uh, let's go ahead and peace out Goswa first let's grab the force religion that'll do nicely and in fact it will even improve our relations with them because they'll no longer see us as a heretic we will also grab the, the extra war reparations, and I don't think we really need much else. Uh, Coburg Alliance, Scotland, Serbia, Trent. Um, hmm. You know what? I think we just uh, leave things be. Just take the war reps and the uh, money. 
Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll grab all of their money. If uh, they need a hand later on, oh well, but that'll sort that out. And then here we go. Let's need to wait for a day before we can sue for peace. Let's make sure we uh, switch their religion there. Grab some more reparations as well. And you know what? We won't take their money just to make sure that they can regrow their army. They did kind of get stacked fairly heavy. So we should, uh, yes, we'll try and help them out if they're going to be on the side with the Ottomans. Mind you, we will fight the Ottomans to defend them as they are part of the HRE. Uh, no treaties, anything particularly that we care about. Uh, rivalries aren't going to matter. And I think that's going to be it. Yeah, okay. Let's just go ahead and set that demand. That will do nicely. Uh, let's grab our army and we're even going to go ahead and look after those rebels for them. I know it's not a necessity, but it will give us a little bit of a better reputation with them. Uh, we do have some malices for having declared war and was at war. So, all in all, if uh, we take care of the rebels, that could help just a little. Alright, Great Britain could gain an absent merchant, or we lose 10 diplomat power and 43 ducats. Alright, well, 43 ducats is uh, fairly inconsequential to me. Oh, and... Turns out we can't fight their rebels. Okay, so... Let's move. Where do we want to travel to next? Uh, let's see. So I did have a bit of a list. I did a look around and see. We could fight. Hmm. I think I've got like an East Frisia and a Holland to work through some others. All right. So let's go. Let's work our way up over there. In fact, uh, we're going to very carefully work our way around. Where is East Frisia? Up over here? No, oh, change my mind. We'll just head our way north, in fact. Hmm. 56,000 troops. That's probably better. Let's leave this 50 stack. We'll leave them over here in case we fight some uh, smaller peoples. Not 100% sure who we would be fighting, but you never know. Uh, let's go ahead and re-solidify them as a unit. In fact, uh, yeah, that's the other portion to their 80. So let's grab both of these guys. Move them over there. Uh, let's see. I think that should be fine. Yeah, they seem to be moving. That's all well and good. Uh, we should also go ahead and build up some forts over here in Scandinavia, I feel. Uh, it's a bit of a fairly undefended uh, situation going on here. Uh, so it looks like we are building a Fort, which oh no, a state house is being built there. Let's go. Uh, that is forest. So I suppose we'll put that right on the uh, border, and then I suppose we may as well just build one here as well. Also forest. That'll. Although I think we should probably try and build that across the uh, on the ocean if we can, just so they get those uh, blockade penalties for not being able to. Uh, have naval dominance. So yeah, that'll connect to here. This will connect to there. That'll all work out fairly well. Yeah, just make it a little bit harder for them to uh, advance when we don't feel like it. Uh, we also have a fort that we could build here for Norway. Uh, oh, sorry, not Norway. Yes, Norway. Uh, I don't think we bother. Yeah, we'll leave things be as it stands. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Alright, so let's get that army across over here. We might fight uh, East Frisia next. But uh, if we can... Yeah, there we are. Point zero two already. We've actually got some growth happening in the HRE. Uh, Imperial Authority, that's what we want. Alright, so let's see. Uh, casualties, not a big issue. We do have a bunch of spy networks still, apparently, against the Mamluks. Which we should see about... Uh, fixing up. Now they are still counted as a rival it does seem, so what do we want to do? Oh, well, we, we could take some claims just so we can uh, take more land on the next war. And realistically, that's probably not a bad way to go. We don't really need the extra claims, but hey, if it makes it cheaper for us to take land, we may as well. So let's grab... What do we want? 
Do we want to work our way the whole way down and just uh, cut off the Ottoman Empire? Probably not a bad call. Uh, some of these are fairly cheap, though. Hmm. Uh, what do we want? You know what? We'll grab that one there. That's 14 development. That's pretty decent. We could also grab that six. Uh, 19. That also seems fairly good to me. We will grab those high development claims. Uh, seven. Five. What's this? Nine. I suppose that will do. And that's pretty much all of our war our uh, spy network. So let's go ahead and cancel that. And in fact, I think we should start counter espionaging. If they are a rival, they're going to gain extra bonuses to spying upon us. And that's pretty bad, especially when they start sowing discontent and all of those sorts of things. So uh, yeah, that is quite problematic. I think we should also go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, boost up our relations with uh, the Protestants reform Hussite and Anglican countries, especially now that we've uh, flipped them around. Or, well, uh, actually, I think those were uh, Protestant anyway, so we're not really going to be flipping much around in that regard, but uh, that should help us out in the long run, just for the fact that uh, the last one's probably expired. Oh my goodness, what do they want? A thousand buckets for a Palatinate? Good grief, what could they possibly want? Um... I don't know if we necessarily want to give them that much money. No, I don't think we will. And it's not going to hurt our relations, even though we did refuse their uh, favours. Yeah, that'll be fine. I am uh, perfectly okay with that. Alright, people are leaving the coalition. That is nice. I am happy to see this. Uh, who do we need to fight? Hmm. Well, we need to fight... Berg, but you're... Ooh, hang on a second. Yeah, you're part of the coalition. That is unfortunate. Uh, we need to find more people that we can attack. Wunberg would be a good choice again, but again, part of that Delhi coalition. Yeah, the good news is, though, at least with uh, converting people to the right faith, we're not growing our aggressive expansion. So it is fairly... Uh, it is a good way of making peace treaties and not having to worry about extra problems on the side. All right, what have we got here? Hamburg, are you part of the coalition? It does not look like it. Oh, you're a free city. Oh, that's a shame. I have to find one of your friends then to attack. Uh, Lubeck, what about you? Yep, you're a part of that as well. Mecklenburg. Oh, you know what? Mec Mecklenburg, that'll do. Oh, but we do have really good... We do have really good relations with them. So we need either Lubeck or Nassau. But both of those guys are part of that coalition, so that won't work. Uh, Volgast. How are we doing? You know what? We can imperialism. That sounds pretty good to me. All right, let's see. Let's just double check. 39%. And I think some of their other buddies. Uh, Nuremberg, we can happily flip them over. I'm pretty sure they're a one province minor, or fairly close to it. And Riga. Uh, hmm. Are you part of the Empire? You are part of the Empire. Sweet, we can flip you over as well. That will do quite nicely. So you know what? I think we found our next stop. Let's go ahead and declare that war. Uh, imperialism for the win. And you know what? Let's keep the uh, ball rolling. We're going to uh, call in all of our friends. Because at this stage, it's all about relations. Alright, so, who is the first cab on the ranks? It looks like... You need to swing down to Nuremberg. But I'm pretty sure Augsburg might deal with that. Let's march you over... Uh, let's march you over to their cap, I suppose. Just give them a day to uh, recoup. Alright, and let's see. Kohlberg? Or... Uh, could use our fleet, but I think yeah, I don't think it's going to be too much of a hassle. Uh, let's grab. Actually, which one is their capital? We should really find out. Yes, it is Kohlberg. Okay, well then, 
that is where we will oh no never mind there's Volgas proper we will take their capital first and foremost give them all of those uh reasons to bail because they do not have their capital it'll come down nice and quickly because of our crazy amount of power Ooh, Wissacia has moved into a coalition. Darn. I was hoping we may have uh, tacked in, but oh well. I guess it is what it is. I guess they're just feeling threatened, but hey. Given our improved relations at the moment, we have, yeah, 20% from here. And I think uh, if we go, where is our improved relations? Let's just double check how well we're doing. Plus 114%. That is fantastic. And that'll go up to 130 once we manage our overextension. Which I'm beginning to question. How do we... Oh, that's right. That's from Egypt. Right. For a second then. I forgot that we took land from them. Oh, well. Alright, so let's see. Two siege. Not too bad. Let's grab... Uh, let's grab... Half of this army. And we'll bring you over here to start... Oh, you know what? We'll just take that island there. Even, uh, yeah, I don't care about naval dominance. Could be useful, but again, it's not going to be too important. Or at least I don't uh, suspect it will be. In fact, you know what? Never mind. Let's grab... First of all, we'll do an upgrade. Who do we have to worry about? A couple of light ships. Yeah, we don't really need light ships in this navy, so let's make them a separate entity. We'll grab everybody else, and we'll... Uh, We'll sail them into the southern Baltic. That should give us access fairly quickly. Yes, it does. Let's march you up over onto the next fort. That should go fairly fast. Looks like uh, Trier, Moravia, and the Platinate are working on Nuremberg. That will be nice. We will eventually flip everybody, or at least as many as we can within the HRE. It's just going to take us some time. So what have we got here? Local unrest or buckets? Well, we will certainly spend the ducats, as that is uh, particularly easy now, isn't it? Alright, conversions are successful. That is nice. Good old church power is growing. In fact, it's growing fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and use some more. Let's go with the... Hmm. We could divorce. In fact, uh, maybe that's what we do, so we can gain ourselves an heir... She is a 044, which isn't bad, and oh well, she does have uh, a silver tongue. But if she that's only if she becomes ruler, so you know what? I don't think we care too much about her. Yeah, let's save for the 200, we'll divorce our wife, we'll get a new one, and uh, that should hopefully increase our chance of a new heir by a fair margin. Uh, we do need to march all the way down over to Riga, so let's get you over there while we can uh, that should be fairly easy I'm not worried about getting attacked we have far too many men in the field these guys are nothing but pushovers so let's just see that they come to the right way of uh, thinking all right what have we got Swan merchants landed by the Commonwealth does the Commonwealth oh the Commonwealth sees us as a rival do we see the Commonwealth as a rival we do. Are we counter espionaging? We are. Oh, grief. They must have some fancy modifiers to help them get through that. That sucks. Okay. But Norway asks for help. Alright, so what do we do? Uh, they will have to deal with it themselves. Now, let's lose a little bit of manpower and a little bit of money. That is uh, fairly inconsequential to us. We can also go ahead and invest in a new idea. So let's grab that flexible negotiation. That will do very nicely. And then, yeah diplomatic core at the end and that lowered impact on stability is exactly what we're after so now let's grab let's bring our navy up over here to Riga uh, that is the fort that we need to take out first uh, looks like Nuremberg is still kicking Ooh. a new heir to the throne of a 320 uh oh uh, they say the succession is safe, and people probably will vote for us, yet yeah, judging by these numbers. But I'm not okay with that. I am, uh, yeah, a 320. I'm sorry, kiddo, but I don't think that that's going to work for me. 
we're gonna have to say goodbye to you so uh yes you are removed from our line of succession which is fine we uh we're okay with this all right uh what have we got going on up over there rigor is getting attacked by a lot of people that's fine i suppose uh we will make fairly quick progress i think uh losing diplomatic power because naval suffering not quite ideal but it is what it is uh we won a battle against pretender rebels where did that happen oh it looks like uh we're doing some rebel suppression for norway all right well hey it all pans out at the end so that matters end off four five three you know what that is what i'm talking about that is the kind of an air we want let's happily take him we will uh no longer have to divorce our wife or anything so that will do quite nicely all right 14 percent here minus 35 there you know what i'm kind of uh order that idea let's blow that open with multiple power or imperial authority definitely not we're going to we're going to lose the diplo power we're already in the negative a little bit more is not going to hurt us uh we're making progress in where we need to uh, conversions are successful let's double check how much power we have 200 okay well then if that's the case um hmm. i was about to say stability and uh legitimacy but we're kind of getting close to capped out i suppose we may as well do it there's nothing better for us let's grab the free stability that will uh help our nation yeah, we'll just go with that for now. All right, overextension is disappearing, so that'll help our uh, improve relations, which is very nice. Uh, looks like Nuremberg is out of the picture, so let's go ahead and sue for peace. Uh, swap your religion, please, and thank you. And uh, you know what? Give us all your money because you're just kind of a for the inconvenience of it all. No treaties. Do we care about anything here? Uh, we could do with some prestige so it's probably not the end of the world let's make sure we drop them as a rival oh no 90 percent hmm you know what? let's drop the money now are you willing yes you are okay there we go so that should give us a little bit of prestige uh we'll grab that as well all right so we're just prestige farming really That'll be fine. Say goodbye to you. You're now the right religion as well. Back down to 62% war score, but that is all A-OK. -okay. Uh, oh, separatists. What the heck? My bad. I completely forgot that we removed our army that was supposed to be looking after such quarrels. So, uh, yeah, let's make sure that that does not happen again. We do not accept any kind of, uh, what shall we call it? separatism sentiments that is not allowed no longer claim sadia would be part of our rightful oh maybe hmm. you know what i don't even know but hey we'll uh we'll let that slide we do have a couple of free diplomats at the moment maybe we go ahead and just set them to lazy let's go with uh threatening countries maybe outraged yeah, let's go with the Outraged. That'll be fine. We'll uh, keep on working on all of those relationships as time goes by. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, more conversions. That's what we wanted to see. Anything as far as great projects? None of them will look particularly helpful, so I guess we'll uh, just say go away for now. We've lost a claim on Gaza as well. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we took too long to take some things over there. Oh well. You know what? It is what it is. I'm not really too concerned. All right. Uh, looks like we lost progress there on that siege. That went from 42 down to 35. Hmm. Oh, and there goes all sorts of sieges and boring uh, events. That is fantastic. Let's bring you back up over there. That'll be fine. And then that is Riga as well, so that should be an easy, uh, an easy conversion. So we'll bring you back as well. Let's go ahead and flip them to the proper faith, you know, save them from hell and all of that good old stuff. 
Uh, what reparations we'll do? Let's also grab. Hmm, what can we do? We have an alliance with Russia. Uh huh. I think we can afford to get rid of that for them. Again, they're part of the HRE. We should defend them if the Commonwealth attacks. Uh, we can get rid of their. Hmm. Bohemia. Factor. You know what? We'll just do all of those. That'll do nicely. Uh, anything else that gives us prestige? Not particularly, so that'll have to do. Goodbye to you. And then in a couple of days, we can peace out Volgast. Alright, there we are. So we can get rid of you as well. Again, welcome to the Faith Brothers. Let's grab those war reparations. And then what else do we wish to take? Hmm. Give up claims. I don't think we need to worry about returning cause. Uh, we could have known some treaties. In fact, uh, you know what? Rivalries are probably the best way for us to get that prestige back. So let's go ahead and take those. Uh, yeah, whatever they are. That's all fine and dandy. Alright, so how are we doing now on the Imperial Growth? I suppose we need to give it a month to uh, just see how things are. Come on, recalculate. Point three. Yes, an all-time high. Alright, so let's see. We do gain... Wait a second. Uh, we gain... Let's see. Uh, point one for peace in the empire. We gain point zero eight from our free cities, which we could probably find another one. I think the maximum is 12. Uh, we need a few more states... Uh, what is it? Yeah, 64 member states in the Empire out of the 25 needed to maintain legitimacy. That's fine. And then, but yeah, we gain 0.114 for our 64 princes. There are 40 heretics, which takes away 0.2. Ooh. And uh, then there's 0 0.06 deduction for provinces outside of the Empire. Right, right. Well... You know what, that's fine. We've got a very well solidified position here. That's all well and good to see. Uh, Bohemia, they're voting for themselves. Looks like mines is... Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good as far as uh, bad relations are concerned. We're coming back up through the ranks fairly quickly. I think last episode those were well over minus 200. So, we'll have to let that be. Alright, let's grab these guys, make sure that they're coming back to the right location. Our manpower is growing quite nicely while we sort this out, so that's rather nice. Uh, artillery cost has gone up. Not exactly something that we uh, want to see, but at the same time too, it's not going to hurt us. And also advanced technology. Ooh. Counting houses. Local production efficiency. Oh, that would be very nice. And extra governing capacity too. Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking we might start going for an extra early piece of uh, military technology. Although apparently, what's this? Haven't embraced an enlightenment. We're only seven years ahead. The enlightenment does not even exist. But that's a little bit annoying. But we are very well set to uh, spawn that institution, so that would be nice. Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking maybe what we do is we'll save... Is this the beginning of the next year? Yeah, maybe at the beginning of next year we'll pick up this a little bit early. Uh, that should be fairly good. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll keep the cash so we can just do an instant embracement. Or at least uh, fairly close to that. All right, so those are a couple of people. How is the coalition going? Yeah, opinion is aggressive expansion is now below 50 with a lot of these people, so they could leave or they uh, wouldn't be forced to join. Yeah, this should start breaking up fairly quickly now. Yeah, this should uh, start breaking up very fast indeed, so that'll certainly help us uh, sort out our faith situation. Let's see, Verden, are you part of this? Yes, you are. Where is uh, Munster? Yep, you're part of that as well. It looks like we have a truce with you, so... Mind you, you're the right faith, so never mind. 
Uh, let's go East Frisia. Here we are. You are the wrong kind of uh, heretic. We could call in Denmark. Oh, sorry. We can fight against Denmark, Hesse, Verden, and Paderborn. I think that'll be fine. We can attack all of these guys, and we should be able to flip them all. Verden is this guy here. That won't be too large. So, yeah, let's go ahead and confirm another Imperialism War, and we're going to go ahead and save more people from their poor, illogical way of thinking. So, uh, let's see, where shall we march? Well, first of all, you know what? Maybe we should move Julie. Yeah, you know what? Let's march Julie up over to Hesse. That should be fairly good that she could uh, handle those two nicely for us i uh, will send our 40 stack over to here we'll bring it over to there uh in fact you know what never mind we'll bring the 20 stack and uh we'll just uh maintain there let's grab our navy and make sure that we have naval dominance again we do not want to have to uh suffer any of the uh problems of uh not getting our uh, ability to siege but you know what i just looked at the time and uh we've clearly been having too much fun so we're gonna have to call things here but we will come back with this in the next one and who knows we may even go ahead and fight the commonwealth if this coalition disbands so if you do want to see that episode be sure to hit that subscribe button it is the best way to catch all future content and i'll see you next time so until then thank you for tuning into the leviathan cove this is the leviathan signing out